So we're gonna get started seated on the mat today. Come on down, you can bend your knees, press your hips back towards your heels. And then take a second here in this first seated pose together to just notice how you're feeling at the beginning of our time. Send your hands off to the sides of your body. Plant your right palm down. Bring your left arm up and over. Feeling the stretch through your left side body. Drawing the shoulder away from your ears and bringing your left hand down. Sweep your right arm up and over. Feeling the stretch through your right side body this time. And release. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee, drawing your right hand behind you for a gentle twist. Keeping your weight light through your right hand really feeling the twist through your back. And release, switch sides. Right hand, left knee, left hand sweeps behind you. Feeling your back grow long. And we're gonna twist again. Bring your left hand, right knee, Right hand sweeps behind you. And then start to sweep your right hand up and over, reaching towards the left front corner of the mat. And release, unwind, other side, right hand, left knee, left hand sweeps behind. And then draw your left hand up and over, reaching your hand towards the right front corner of the mat. And release, unwind from that. Draw your hands on top of your knees. We're gonna move through a couple rounds of seated cow and cat. So on your next breath in, draw the shoulders down and back. Open up through your chest. And then exhale, press into your knees, round through your spine. Tuck in your chin. For... Inhale, roll the shoulders down and back. Gaze forward, seated cow. Exhale, press into your knees, round through your spine for seated cat. Inhale, roll the shoulders down and back. Open up through your chest for the cow. Exhale, press into your knees, round through your spine for cat. Inhale, roll the shoulders down and back. Arch your spine. Exhale, press into your knees, round through your spine, tucking your tailbone under. One more time each way, inhale, cow, gaze forward, open up through the front of your chest, pinching your shoulder blades together. And exhale, pressing into your knees, rounding through your spine, tucking that tailbone for cat. Come back to center. Shift your weight up, coming into your tabletop. Once you're in your tabletop, make sure you're shoulders and your wrists are in line and your hips and your knees are in line. Extend your right leg straight back, tucking your right toes under, pressing back through your right heel, feeling a stretch through the back of your right leg. And release the other side. Extend your left leg long, pressing back through your left heel. and release back down. Come down onto your elbows and then extend your right leg long and then your left leg, pressing your hips up towards the sky for a dolphin pose. Feeling the stretch through your shoulders, drawing the shoulders away from your ears. And release your knees Press your hips back towards your heels, coming into a child's pose. 
You can let your head rest on the mat, arms reach out long in front. Take one nice deep breath in and release. Start to press into your hands, lift your head up off the mat, shift your weight forward into a tabletop again. Next, we will move through thread the needle. So inhale, sweep your left arm up, exhale, Draw your left arm underneath your right, dropping your left shoulder down, letting your head rest on the mat for thread the needle. Feeling your spine twist, feeling the stretch through your shoulders. And release, rise out of that, pressing into your right hand, sweeping your left arm up, and then replacing your left hand on the mat. Other side, sweep your right arm up, Spreading your right arm underneath your left, dropping your right shoulder down, releasing your head. Noticing the stretch on this side. And come on out of that. Press into your left hand, sweep your right arm up, and then draw your right arm, draw your right hand down towards the mat. And then trying to keep your hips and your knees in line, we're going to move into a puppy pose. Crawl your hands forward and then gently start to drop your chest down towards the mat. Again, feeling the stretch through your upper back. Really trying to work through any areas of tension and tightness. Wherever you are, start to bend into your elbows. Shift your weight forward, coming down onto your belly, moving into a sphinx pose. Drawing the shoulders away from your ears. Pressing firmly into your hands. Engaging your arms, feeling the opening through the front of your chest. Start to press into your right hand, straightening out your right elbow. Start to peek over your right shoulder if that is comfortable for you. And release. Strain your right, press into your left hand, strain your left elbow, and peek over your left shoulder. And release back down. Draw your arms off to the side of you, releasing all the way onto the mat. And then bend your right leg, bringing your right hand on top of your right foot. And then start to press into the top of your right foot. Maybe feeling a stretch through your right thigh. And release your leg, release your hand down. Other side, bend your left knee, draw your left hand on top of your foot, press it into your foot. Maybe noticing the stretch through the front of your left thigh. And release back down. Bend both knees and then gently start to windshield wiper your legs back and forth. Releasing through your lower back. And drop your legs back down. From here, we're going to roll onto our back. So find your way onto your back in whatever way is comfortable for you. Once you've found your way, once you've found your way onto your back, you can bend your knees, plant your feet into the mat, draw the shoulders down and back, pick up your right leg, and then draw your right ankle on top of your left knee for a figure four. You can stay here if this is enough, or if you would like more, pick up your left leg, bring clasp your hands around your left shin, drawing everything in closer, or bring your hands to the back of your left thigh. Feeling the stretch through your leg. And unclasp your hands, bring your foot down towards the mat if you had it lifted. Reach your right leg out long, point and flex your toes. Roll through your ankle. 
and release. Drag, bend into your knee, plant your right foot down, moving into a figure four on the other side. Straighten your left leg long, bend your left knee, bring in your ankle on top of your right leg. You can stay here or pick up your right foot, clasping your hands around your left shin, drawing everything in close. And unclasp your hands if they were clasped, drop your right foot back down, arms lay off. Arms reach to the sides of your body. Extend your left leg long. Point and flex your toes. Roll through your ankle. And release your foot back down. Extend your left leg long. Keeping your right knee bent. And then draw your hands off to the side. And then drop your right knee off to the left side for a gentle twist. You can keep your gaze up, keeping the gaze soft, or gently rotating your head off towards the right side, peeking over your right shoulder. And release, unwind, extend your right leg long. Bend your left knee. Bend your left knee and then gently drop your left knee off to the right. Feeling the twist on the other side now. Keeping the gaze soft. Or peeking over your left shoulder. And release, extend your legs long. Coming into our final resting pose together, or Shavasana. Begin to close your eyes. Noticing how your body's feeling at the end of class versus at the beginning. Take a second to thank yourself. Making time for intentional movement today. And when you're ready, find your way into a seated position. You can blink your eyes open or keep your eyes closed if you would like. Just shifting your weight off to the side, pressing into your hand, finding your way into a seat, crossing your legs, drawing your hands out in front, palms to touch, and then gently dropping your head down towards your fingertips. Sealing in the end of our practice, the end of our time together. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our class together. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what if you let me know what you thought of this class down below and any other classes you would like to see in the future. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you on the mat next time. Bye.